Hey guys, I just wanted to go into a little more detail my Lightbox Expo Kibesh 3D demo from over the weekend. I built out a cool city in the desert based on my graphic novel Huxley, and uh, I just wanted to show a little more in depth and maybe a little more HD footage to um, what I built and maybe a little bit of behind the scenes about how I built that and how you could build something like this yourself. As someone coming from Blender, I was a little fish out of water, but it was really fun learning a little bit more about Unreal and the pros and cons of using it as a concept designer and maybe making the switch over to just start making levels for games, which is something I'm kind of halfway doing in Blender, but it would be cool just to, once I've assembled the scene, it's it's just done and I can run around instead of having to hand off all those models and then someone else has to rebuild everything. Just learning all this myself could save a lot of time and having a designer go from idea to concept to building the level and finalizing it is a really cool and exciting prospect for me uh, that I just haven't really thought about before. And um, now that I'm diving in, it feels like the tools have gotten so much easier and I'm excited to keep experimenting and exploring more. And Unreal 4 is really fun and I'm, I'm really excited to see where uh, UE5 goes with the Nanite and their cool lighting technology that's that's coming into play. Just a really exciting time to be working in games and jumping on board with all this stuff. So if you aren't aware, I've been working on a graphic novel called Huxley the past couple years. I showed a little bit of a preview last year, and um, I'm busy working and finishing the, the full book this year. Lightbox Expo, I showed a bit of stuff. Uh, but I'm about to go back into hermit mode to finish the book by end of the year. And before I do that, I wanted to go into a little more detail of all this stuff and show you guys some cool stuff I learned while I was putting this demo together. So the first thing I did was start digging around in some of the pages of my graphic novel and seeing some cool city shots and things. There's uh, one of the first cities they get to in the desert. It's kind of like a cool hub city and... I thought that would be an interesting thing to try to mock up. So once I had my target set, I collect, buy, or build different assets I need. In this case, I had some free, cool desert environments I could use as a starting point. Um, I got some spaceships on the Unreal Store that were kind of in the ballpark for what I might need. And then getting a few Kitbash 3D kits that are pretty close to the kind of theme that I'm looking to achieve in this environment, which in this case was the Wasteland kit. And once I had all those collected and assembled, I can just start putting them into a scene and start basically building like Legos, the, the city I want to make. And after a little bit of time, you can really start building a giant gameplay space. I was really surprised how quickly this came together and just a few evenings of playing around and it just feels like a really advanced Lego set. You're just kind of moving things around like when you're a little kid and playing with little toys, and but the end result in this case is a cool video game level that you can run around in. So I kind of blocked out this main big city already, but I want to just build out a little bit more and just show you how easy it is to use these kits. Um, you know, they just you just go in the project folder where all the kits are located and just start drag and dropping them and they pop up and you can just start Moving around, it's uh, it's pretty addicting how easy it is to just start going in there and playing around. And maybe there's like a giant sort of walkway heading into the city. And there's all these big buildings helping to frame that kind of pathway into the city to make it feel a bit more epic and grand. If you're a traveler coming here for the first time, it would be a pretty cool entrance into a, a new city. You know, you just... Maybe the first couple of pieces take a little time to go into the scene, but once you do that, you can just select a bunch of pieces and duplicate a huge chunk of parts to building out bigger spaces super fast. It just kind of exponentially speeds up the more you build. And then running around in first person is always super cool. Starting to get a feel for the exact scale that the player is going to see, and it's, it's much easier than what I was doing before, maybe in Blender, where it's a little ambiguous to see how high the player is actually going to be and um, being able to just like test it out all the time like this is, is really cool to make sure the 
um, relative scale to the player is always accurate. And it's super cool just to be able to fly around, change lighting on the fly, change clouds on the fly. The amount of detail and density Unreal can handle in a scene is really impressive. That was one of the things that really surprised me, just seeing how it could handle so many assets in a scene. I know Unreal 5 is going to be even better, but I feel like Unreal 4 is really good already at just handling a massive amount of objects in a scene. You know, I'm coming from Blender, I, I would never be able to build something this big with that level of density in the models. Uh, I would just start getting a bit too heavy for my system, but this was running fine. And yeah, it's just really exciting to see this. I just had no idea and gets me excited to dig in more. And when Unreal 5 comes out, I feel like it's going to be really game changing to the way we work as game developers, but also as concept designers and, and artists who have been kind of in this weird middle ground of being a hybrid 2D, 3D artist. It's going to be a interesting time to start bringing this into our workflow even more and more. So I think that's it for me, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this deeper dive into the demo I did for Kipesh 3D and get a little bit more understanding of the process I used to achieve this kind of big mega city in the desert. And hopefully that gets you excited to try something like this out yourself. And if you've been on the fence of diving into this stuff, it's pretty cool and pretty straightforward, I felt. And before I head off to become a hermit to finish my graphic novel the rest of the year, I want to leave you guys with a cool Huxley teaser trailer that was just released, directed by my friend Sava Zakovich. I've been working with him and an awesome team of artists uh, since the beginning of the year, helping to turn my graphic novel into more of a cinematic realm, and it's been super exciting and can't wait to share more later this year. So make sure to follow along on the Huxley YouTube channel, HuxleySaga.com, for updates and info about all the cool stuff coming later this year. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time. War. Plague. Famine. Greed. The world went mad and tore itself apart. The machines brought order out of the chaos we created. Humanity survived. Barely. In this ruined world, on the brink of extinction, one thing refused to die. 